Y'all, as y'all can really see, my reality today is some um, BS. Like, it's so much equipment. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six crash charts back there, and it's one on the other side already needing to be done. So, seven crash carts. Y'all, today is about to be a long day. Oh, I guess today we're just gonna do. We're just gonna talk. We're just gonna talk and show the real of coming to work and having so much work and feeling overwhelmed. But we're gonna get through it at the end of the day. It can be done. So we're just gonna talk about some real stuff today. Keep watching. So, good morning, you guys. I know I look sleepy because I am. I yeah, I am. But I just want to come on here and make this video to say thank you for watching my channel thank you for the views thank you for subscribing thank you for all the love that you guys been showing and um i appreciate it and i'm just trying to get to my goal which is just so introducing you to i mean people to this trade that is a good trade you can make good money off of this trade and people don't know about it you don't have to spend some people go to school i personally that's another question i get asked all the time did i go to school what program i went to i did not go to school i was going to go to a program that was 12 months but luckily it didn't it worked out in my favor that a job had came open it and it didn't say it, i needed rec um i needed experience for the job so i took the advantage and i went on and applied and thank god that the manager at the time she was hiring people with no experience because she was willing to you know teach them the way that things were done there you know sometimes managers would do that because this job is a regardless if you go to school for it, you still have to get on the job training in order to get certified i got started in sale processing and how i got my first job so y'all i literally didn't know nothing about it i didn't know anything about it never searched it never never thought of it um my mom at the time she's the one who brought it up to me and said something to me about it so it was interesting to me because like I knew I didn't at the time I knew I wanted to work in healthcare. I thought I wanted to be a nurse I like kn knew that that was going to be my dream job but um life changes but um yeah so I had was like oh, okay so this would be a great job for me to you know move up and stay working in the hospital because i loved working in a hospital i love the environment love the comfortable scrubs just loved everything about it so um at the time i was living in huntsville so i was like hmm, well if i get this job in birmingham this is a sign that i should move back home because at the time it just wasn't going so great so i was like hey this will be my sign and i'm just one of them type of people i take big steps and if it happens it happens and if it do that mean it was me so um i put in an application at um a department that was a specialty and um i guess i can say this place well i won't say it the place it was a specialty it was in ortho and so um i still didn't live in birmingham anymore but when my when the lady when they emailed me back and they told me um 
that I've been approved and I was um, scheduled to have an appointment, you know, I didn't quit my job or nothing. I was working at Walmart um, and I was working in the hospital. I was doing environmental services. And, um, um, but I was like, hmm, well, let me just take off and go here and go to this in job interview or whatever. So I went home, I took off for that day. I went home, um, had the job interview. Y'all, this interview, <laughs> it was so funny. I, the day before the interview, um, I started doing some research about it or whatever. So, kind of what I came up with is, you know, you know, you know, it's a scary environment. You can't have no long hair, can't have your hair out, you know, can't have big earrings, nothing like that. And like, no artificial nails. So, y'all, I had nails on. My eye butt stayed up late because I had an early appointment too. I stayed up so late trying to get those nails off. It was so freaking funny. And like three of them was just not budging. Like they would not come off. And so I was like so nervous. I was like, I'm going to give a bad impression and all this and all that. So I couldn't get them off. So they were still on when I went to that interview. So while I'm in an interview, y'all, um, that's another thing. I will make a whole nother interview. I mean, uh, another video about that. But side note, um, when you go to an interview for stair processing, wear comfortable shoes. You do not have to dress up in heels and skirts. I mean, if that's your preference, then do so. But just make sure to wear comfortable shoes because guess what? In my interview, I had to change out of my um, outfit and put on scrubs and um, walk around the department. So that was the second part of my, cause you, you can't wear normal clothes inside of the OR or whatever. So I just um, changed into my, um, some scrubs. Um, and thank God I had like some comfortable shoes on some loafers and only reason I had comfortable shoes on because y'all, I just don't do heels. I just don't. So that was just comfortable for me, and it worked in my favor. So y'all, when I say they had me pick up stuff, trying to see if I can hold it, like loaner trays, they had me walk upstairs and downstairs because the department had two um, two floors of a stair processing department, and so she just pretty much got let me get a feel of the things I would be doing, and also showing me and making sure i understood that i have to be able to pick up this stuff because some of the things are you know heavy i mean you're required to you can't agree to saying you can and then you get on the job and you're saying you can't pick up this or this is too heavy because you agreed already you you already okay that it was cool nothing restricted you from being able to do that so don't lie because it will be tested if you lied so um what okay so back to the interview so i'm in an interview i'm talking she loves my personality i can already tell she likes me or whatever but i'm still nervous because y'all like it was so weird it was just me and her in the office or whatever and so she was also made a point to say and you know we don't wear any artificial nails and i'm like the whole time in the interview i had my hand like this and so I'm pretty sure she probably caught a glance of what I was trying to hide from her, which is so freaking funny. So she was like, um, and then I felt like, you know, it was my time to expose myself. So I was like, um, I know I have artificial nails on and I'm sorry. Um, I really, I really tried to take them off. I really did. And then I show her off my fingernails. And she see that I literally, you could tell like when your fingernails are fresh and you, you know, have taken a nail off. And she was like, um, and you could tell I only had three on. And she was like, it's okay, it's okay. I'm just letting you know. So if you start, you know, if you ever, you know, start in, you, get this um job or get this job offer you just know for future references that we don't wear artificial nails at this um in this department or whatever and i was like okay okay i said i tried to be as presentable as possible and um she just thought it was so funny but yeah i was really freaking out about not having them nails off i just knew that was gonna be strike one but yeah so um 
that went well. I got done with the interview. I felt really good about it. Um, they called me. They didn't call me back for like a good week or whatever. And so, because I guess they were interviewing other people, you know. They had a lot of um, opening spots. So, when they did call me back, I was like, okay, it's me. It's time for me to pack my stuff up. Because my, my, oh, my lease wasn't even up. My lease wasn't up. I still, y'all, I was still, I still had that lease in my name or whatever until it was up or whatever. I don't even want to talk about that, but yeah, I still had the lease in my name. So I just was like, hmm, blah, blah, blah. It worked in my favor. Everything worked out, whatever. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to move back home. You know, this will be making me more money. I'll be learning something new. And it seemed like I like this. So. I did. I loved it. And when I started, it was two other people with me who started as well. And they didn't have experience as well. And so we just both, all three of us learned at the same time, um, everything for the first time. And we were a fast group. We learned really fast. Fresh and you're new, you don't know nothing. It takes you three months in orientation. Then um, you'll be on morning shift and then they'll put you on your right shift. Because I had got hired literally for nights because y'all, I'm a night owl. I don't like getting up. That's why I'm looking crazy like this because I'm here at 6.30 a.m. And then I work 10 hours, so I got to be here until 5 p.m. So, yeah. Um. So, that was that. And, you know, it was just a, a great start of my career. And I think I was like 20 then, y'all. I'm 25 now. So, yeah, I've been doing this for some time. So, um, I don't regret it. I love my job. I love what I do. Um, but I will speak on this. Um, sometimes at working at a facility, you won't get paid. You won't get paid what you deserve. Sometimes you will. I know some companies that pay well. Like, I work for... I will say their name, Stairs, and they pay really well. Nobody in the department got paid the same because guess what? They took you had multiple years. They paid you for that, and I feel like any company should do that. Like any company. Sometimes hospitals don't. Sometimes they do. Um, I'm just throw this out there. The hospital I work at now, it's just they don't they don't pay literally everybody pretty much makes the same up in this department and i just feel like that's wrong that's wrong but um whatever but um point of saying this is if you're not getting paid don't take that as a um disappointment um you know sometimes everybody got to stay down until they come up and one thing about this department you can get a year experience if if it's that bad, get a year experience. Or if you can, get two years experience. Get the ins and outs of the department. Know that junk by heart. And get your certification with your um, hospital. And go travel. You can literally make some good money traveling. And I put that on me. Like, y'all, I've seen this money. And um, it's got money up in here. It's some good money up out there. I mean, not up in here, but out there. If I had the chance to do it all over again, I literally would have got my year or my two years and went traveling because, but I had plans. Like y'all, I was in school. I was going to school for scrub tech, my school closed. I was going to Virginia College. Don't say nothing bad, I know. Um, I went to that school one because it was closer to me compared to the other school that had scr scrub tech and it was too far for me of a drive to me in my opinion but now I wish I would have did it because it was only a year versus Virginia College was two years but y'all I was literally doing that so I was like oh I'm just doing scrub tech I mean doing stair processing for now it's not my forever go and but it was gonna build my um my knowledge and it was gonna help me so much for when I did become a script tech or whatever and I was planning on being one at the place of my employment and I feel like nine times out of ten if I would have finished school I would have got that job right on because I was a good worker and um 
my um the lady of who was the manager of the um the whole you know department of the whole surgery she was gonna let me do my um clinicals there so you know clinicals is pretty much like a job interview on site right but y'all my school clothes i'm so depressed so then i'm looking like what do i do now so i know i tried doing nursing failed the interest test by two points and i was just like dang like what is for me what is for me so i just stayed in Sarah process and kept working kept working then my life changed and i moved to mobile just upped and quit my job i was working for Sarah, y'all good company making good money but sometimes it's not all about the money um i came to mobile took a pay cut didn't even have a job didn't have a job i did i think i did have a job at um amazon but i didn't have a job like at the hospital because i wanted to work here took a couple of months and then i got it and i was like hmm, i'll work at both so yeah that's been my thing for a moment but y'all my life is about to change um i have big changes coming i hope what everybody stays on my channel for my new changes but i'm still gonna do like my knowledge and videos that i have planned for stair processing before i just throw out there my new adventure but i'm just so thankful that i got to experience this department i got to be able to do this because i really did love it i love surgery but Y'all, my life is about to take a 360, and I'm just so excited. And I'm not going to talk about it, because when you see, you're going to see. Just know. If it make money, it makes sense. And base that on that. So, y'all, thanks for watching my video. Just a little chit-chat with me. Why well, ain't got no work, so... This is just a video to post. Um, got more videos coming on the way. Thanks for watching. Don't fill them up with vibes.